top 10 favorite games of all time most of these are just going to be games that i played games that i played growing up because you know i have a lot of memories of them also this is not going to be in order really except for i know what my number one game of all time is the others on the list are kind of just they can go anywhere and remember this is my favorite so if you guys have your own list you know put down in the comments put down your top five ten games whatever don't matter i don't you know i don't mind just make sure to you know respect everyone's opinion because at the end of the day it's their it's their opinion if you guys want me to talk about any different topics just anything really you know if i find it interesting i'll, I'll react to it anyway the first one i got on the list is mortal kombat 9 so there's been a lot of mortal kombats that i've played i've played obviously i've played all the ones nine and um from nine and on i've played a couple of like the ogs like three in the first one i haven't really played too many of them but mortal kombat 9 was the first mortal kombat i played and it was it's, it's super special to me since every time i would come down for christmas i would go to my cousins and we would play like like two or three games depending we would play mortal kombat 9 sometimes minecraft and then sometimes black ops 2 there's other games sprinkled in there but that mortal kombat 9 was always you know bro we just going at it oh and also injustice we we're just going at it so many memories of mortal kombat 9 i love that game all the characters were you know the story you know it's all right the characters i love the characters i put so many hours into that game if i was to put a favorite character my favorite character was kung lao he's just awesome he's just he's just a kung fu master with five of this how can you not like that okay so number t well number nine i guess we'll go down the list i'll just pick out of my games uh the original god of war there's not really much thought that went into this i just always every time i think of one of my favorite games god of war the rich one of them always comes into my mind but god of war one was the one i played the most i'm pretty sure i played on psp i know i played on playstation i watched my cousin play it it was just a super bro it was just a beat em up game bro i was just straight hung 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 everything g just hung fuck bro i was going crazy in that shit. oh bro and <laughs> shouldn't have been playing the game also you know it's always um it's always what you call it uh exciting i guess playing a game that you're not supposed to be because god of war is not for kids and i was definitely a kid when i started playing that game so uh number nine god of war uh the next game i have is assassin's creed 2 i actually have a playthrough in this game like i love this game I, I, I don't know what to say i've literally clocked it three times 100 percent like literally everything in the game 100 percent every mission every feather every collectible bro everything i've done everything in the game three different times one on p um one on pc uh one on xbox 360 and then once on the ps4 and uh i didn't do on the xo was the xo collection ah it was one of them I got I, I've literally clicked it three times I love this game the you know overall the game um since, since I replayed it earlier this year you guys can check that I've got a playlist of the Assassin's Creed series that I'm playing through uh going back to it it's you know it it's still a standard the test of time for me there was certain areas of the game which I hated which you'll see throughout the playthrough if you watch it but overall i still love the game heaps it's super nostalgic and also and i got into the game because of my cousin again a lot of these games i got into because of my cousin or i just you know i just saw them on youtube or just anywhere and then i just you know want to play it uh the next game i have on here is dragon ball budokai 3 and no it's not the budokai tenkaichi 3 my mine is dragon ball budokai 3 
I never really, so when I was younger, a lot of people will say Budokai Tenkaichi 3, but I actually didn't grow up on that game because I didn't have it. The game that I owned was the Bud I owned all the Budokai um, games, so I had Budokai 1, 2, and 3. 3 was my favorite out of all of them. 1 was like a game made so long ago, like the animation, the characters look so funky. 2 was like that storyboard game, like I liked the fighting, but I didn't like the, like, the storyboard kind of thing, it was just kind of lame. Budokai 3, man I just love that game. I loved the game and I loved, um, what do you, how do I say, I loved the kind of easter eggs, the secrets that you could find. Because I didn't know for a while that Broly was in the game, or Super Saiyan 4 was in the game, or Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta and Omega Shinron. I'm, I didn't even know they were in the game and then when I finally locked on, I was like, oosh, because Broly's massive. The fucking tournament mode was super good for me. I like the skills, I like um, how many skills there were. Transformation was cool, you know, beam clashes. There's Dragon Rush, which, you know, it's alright. Dragon Rush was alright. Yeah, I just loved that game and I grew up with Budokai 3 instead of Tenkaichi 3. If I would have had Tenkaichi 3, I would honestly say that it would probably be on my list instead of Budokai 3, but I didn't have it as a kid. I didn't get it till like I was like 11 or 12. So, yeah, not on my list. Next up, I'm seeing a theme of this list. I've got a lot of fighting games. I used to play a lot of fighters. I still do play quite a few fighters, but the next one is Tekken 5. Another fighting game. So, when I was growing up, Tekken 4 and 5 were the main ones I'd play. There was, I had Tekken Tag Tournament 2. I didn't really play that. It wasn't really my wasn't really my thing i liked five and four those are the two i played the most but i grew up more on five just because i actually got a four four because it basically just came out so when we hit the ps2 bro we got tekken five and i just spanned played that i remember i'd go against my dad and obviously my cousin my dad would usually pick um uh what's his name it's like the bruce lee inspired character I forgot his name, Martial Law, Martial Law. Uh, I'll just go with like the, the classic Jin Kazama. Uh, or if I unlocked it, because you know, you have to unlock it for going for the story mode, I would play as Devil Jin. I just love Devil Jin's theme. It was right, just the whole character for me is super dope. Uh, I just, the character, like the roster of the actual game was super big for a Tekken game. like. There's at least like 30 characters, I swear. You have to unlock a lot of them through the actual quote-unquote story mode. Cause it's not really a story mode. It's, it's basically just arcade play. You just get, go for like 8 or eight to 10 enemies. And then, you know, you unlock a character. But, hey man, nostalgia. It is what it is. I love the game. I don't know what, I don't know what to tell you. So, my next game is Black Ops 2. This was the Call of Duty that I grew up on, and this is the Call of Duty I put the most time into. I don't think there'll ever be a Call of Duty. I, I, I don't think there'll ever be a Call of Duty or maybe even a game that I would ever put more time into than Black Ops 2. So I didn't start playing the game till I think 2014? I know I, I skipped at least a year after the release so Ghost was out by then. I don't know if I started playing either you know when Ghost just came out or the year after. It was either 2014 or t I think it was 2014 I started playing. I literally basically only played Black Ops 2 really any other game until about 2018. Yeah 2018 when Fortnite came out because that's when I'm um I moved and ended up making friends, you know, my fr I ended up uh, going to a different school, moved place, so I made friends and then they started talking about Fortnite and then I started playing Fortnite. Before that, I basically only played Black Ops 2, When I tell you I put thousands of hours into this game, thousands, tens of thousands, 
at least tens of thousands because I remember the last time I played I had a thousand hours and I've I like reset so often I made so many different accounts like uh, I had different accounts because I lost I was I'm terrible with password management I'd forget my password and then I just didn't know how to reset it so I'd be like fuck gotta gotta make a new password now make my new password forget the account fuck forget my passcode as well Chur, man i just love myself sometimes uh, i put so many hours into the game comment down below what your favorite weapon in black Ops 2 was mine was the msmc i love the msmc bro i love smgs in general if you like see even nowadays in cod i like the smg more than like the ARs so, like obviously the mcw i'd rather run either the rival nine striker just any smg i love smgs even ars that like are kind of small and i think it's called the bp40 and the newest called mw3 it looks and feels like an smg to me so i actually do like it but i'd rather use rival nine but bro that msmc bro that shit was mwah. bro i love that gun I love I don't think they'll ever be able to portray it like portray it as good as Black Ops 2 did. Like I just got too much nostalgia of it. The diamond camo as well, bro. Diamond camo is so easy to get. Like when I say diamond camo, it's easy, bro. I've I reset so many times. Got diamonds so many times. I went for nuked out, got hella nukes. Everyone was just terrible back then. Like super dog shit. And everyone's internet was pretty trash. Nowadays, people's internet's super stable. And mine isn't super stable. So when I go to shoot people, G, they've got the stable internet, even though they're at the same, you know, ping as me, around 40 to 50. Their, their ping is stable. Mine goes up and down, fluctuates from 40 to 100. You know, I get shat on. But nah, Black Ops 2. I love that game. I'll always have love for that game. Like, literally, no matter what, that game is just goaded. Bro, RIP Black Ops 2, man. The servers, servers are just filled with hackers. You can't do anything. The next one on my list is Batman Arkham Asylum. And for a lot of people, they'll be like, hey, what about, like, you know, City? City's a better one. What about, like, Origins or, you know, Night? but for me i just remember arkham Asylum a lot more if i think back to my f like my favorite games of all time batman like i was when um on xbox xbox 360 when you get like the demos i would because you know you could download the demo for the game i would always download the batman arkham asylum one because i think it was longer I love I love Batman Arkham Sun so much and the first time I got to actually play it for myself bro it was bliss man I loved it I even you guys saw that I recently went back like maybe a couple months ago to go play the game I still love it I got through the game pretty easily Batman Arkham Sun is just a very you know solid game that's why I got you know that's why I got a game of the year it's a really good game if you haven't played it you need to play it now if you like superhero games action stealth you need to play the game next up we sports so this one's a bit out of left field but bro we sports is just a classic you can't tell me other it's a classic bro it's just a classic my favorite sport to play was uh i think for me it was tennis it was tennis because i remember i got to the top level of tennis and i, I just kept on playing i love tennis i think my second uh, uh, my first and second are either tennis and bowling i don't know which one i liked more i played more tennis but i feel like i like bowling more but i don't know i'd always play with the family bro you know just get in front of the wii play just all the different sports just having fun on the wii it's heap, there was heaps of fun games on the Wii, but Wii Sports is the one I always think of. I always think of Wii Sports. Wii Sports is goaded, man. I loved all the... I played every mode. I played, you know, bowling, the boxing, the golfing, tennis. Uh, there's another one. Wow, I'm forgetting it. Um, 
is it cricket? I think it's cricket. I played all the modes. Obviously, I put a lot of time into other games. But I just, you know, loved it. was kind of like a. What do you call it? It was just kind of like a family game for me. And it was something that all of us could play at the same time. You know, if uh, the cousins or my nieces were over. And, you know, we had to, we had to share. Because I didn't like sharing shit. Because, you know, kids be kids. But if we did have to share. I'd put on Wii Sports. So. There's like a couple games that I'm like looking between. I think for me. The next game. Is Sonic Unleashed. And I know. And I know. And I know. The game is buggy. It is extremely buggy. But again. It's just nostalgia talking for me, okay? Personally for me, it's just nostalgia. I played it so much. It's another game that I played so much as a kid. And just like, it was kind of like a build up. So I started with, I think, it was either, I think I went with the Wii first. I got the Wii version. So the one with the scroll menu, you know, when you're trying to go around the levels and looking for what you need to go. And did the PS2, which is basically the same version. And then I went to the Xbox 360 and played the, you know, the actual Sonic Unleashed. Because the PS2 and the, the Wii one wasn't anything compared to the Xbox 360. For people, a lot of people just basically didn't like half the game because the Wii Hog. I don't actually really mind the Wii Hog. It's just that sometimes, sometimes like the stages would take so long that I'd get bored and turn off the game, which I can understand that because you also need to find the medals, the moon and sun medals to make sure you can look certain levels later on. But like <laughs> there was some stages that took like me 30 minutes because if, 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 if I, it's gonna take like 50 minutes anyway i gotta make sure i find everything and i also get an s getting s's on the way hog level is so easy since you literally take like 30 minutes if you don't die by the time you get to the end it's hard to get an s but bro once you got to the you know normal sonic sections bro you're boosting there's so many beautiful levels and <laughs> there's a lot of sections in the game though that also were super laggy like the consoles that they were on just couldn't take it p3 xbox 360 couldn't take some of those uh very fast graphical scenes i forgot what the what the maps were well i kind of remember what there was the city one the one in the city and then there was also one where it's on like a tropical kind of island and there's a bridge there's a fish at the start i'm pretty sure all right and then you go skate on water because it was it was super beautiful but frame as hell but I'm not going to put that against the game. You know, it is what it is. I love the game. If you're going to try Sonic Unleashed, you, you should if you like Sonic and you know you like kind of 3D platformers and just action-packed games. Try it. You, you know, you might like it. And now, the only game on this list that is, you know, a definite, a definite spot this game right here is my number one favorite game of all time and it's been my number one game of all time since i played it and i don't think anything's come close to it at the moment that i played and that is witcher 3 so the witcher 3 i never played one and two but the game gave you so much the lore like so much callback to the other games that I didn't really need to go back to the other games to you know get a lot of the knowledge obviously there's holes in my knowledge because you know I didn't do one and two but the game did a good job of um calling back to those games but also being its own kind of game since Garrett did kind of basically get a reset kind of forgot everything I just I put so many hours into this game like this like the average playthroughs at least like good 30 40 hours and that's probably just doing the main quest i this this is one of the only games that i've nearly got that i've platinumed i nearly platinumed this game it's just 
two achievements I need to get on uh, PlayStation. I need to get um what do you call it? I need to get Death March and then one boss that I didn't kill and then I platinum the game. I might have to do like a playthrough just to force myself to actually get through you know get through the game. We'll have to see though. But the game is just stunning. Even on PS4 when I played it, I'm the the visuals bro stunning and it barely it barely stutters. It barely stutters for being so beautiful, having so much, you know, such a big world. Like it, it it took years after it was created in like 2015 for them to finally find all the secrets. And they weren't gonna release the like the next game unless they found all the secrets. There's the DLCs were super long and detailed. They added so much stuff. The DLCs alone added like at least 20 hours to the game basically. It had a good system. Once you bro, once you become like knowledgeable in the game, when you like restart a lot easier, there's I don't want to give everything away, but next whenever I play the game again, I know certain things now that are definitely gonna help me get through the game easier, especially when it comes to hunger and food. This game is beautiful has really it's a it's a very 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 law uh law since uh how do i say law rich game there's so much law in it there's so much for you to do there's so many different elements to tackle i don't even know where to start witcher 3 is my favorite game of all time i love it you guys need to try it out you just need to and if you don't bastards but anyway that's my top top 10 games the only one that i you know spot that i know is my number one which is witcher 3 so the other ones can go anywhere i don't really care i hope you guys enjoyed this list make sure to put your own list in the comments make sure to be nice and uh yeah if you guys got any other things you want me to talk about just put them in the comments as well hope you guys have a good rest of your night day you know whatever you're doing wherever you are and yeah peace you're